Hello everybody. Are you tired of spending too much time looking for mockups for your next design project? And when you do find one, you realize you have to pay for an entire pack instead of just the one you need? Well, you're in luck. Because today, we're going to use the Photoshop Generative Fill Tool to create mockups for us for free. We're going to look at creating a t-shirt mockup as well as a poster mockup. So without further ado, let's start designing. The first thing we're going to be working on today is making a t-shirt mockup in Photoshop using the Generative Fill Tool. Now, naturally, at this point, we still need to use Photoshop Beta for it. So if you haven't installed it yet, please go ahead. First thing we need to do once we're in here is to create a background. I will select my marquee tool, highlight my entire canvas, and then use this generative fill tool to create a dark background with dim lighting. Good options here. I'll go ahead with this first one. Next, we need the actual t-shirt that we're gonna use as our markup for our designs. Again, using the marquee tool, I'm gonna to draw a rough square in the middle of our canvas. And I will type in plain t-shirt for mockups. More decent options for our t-shirts. Let's go ahead with this one. Now we need to create a new layer and make it into a smart object so that we can paste in and change our designs as we need. So first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. We're going to right click and convert this into a smart object. Now let's paste in the design we want to use. First, let's paste it in as a smart object. I'm copying a logo over from Illustrator. You could use a raster image. You could use an image from mid journey. You can use whatever you want here. Hit OK. I'm going to resize this to roughly the size I want it to be. Don't worry too much about its position. Let's just think about the size we want it to be for now. Hit enter. Now, what we can do is hit copy on this image and then double click into the smart object you created earlier and then paste it in again. Once this is pasted in, Make sure to save it by hitting Control S and then go back to your image. Now we can delete this top image and we can move the smart object that has our logo to where we want it to be. Once this is positioned well, we need to do one last thing to make sure it blends in well with the background and I'm going to make sure my smart object is selected and in my layer options, I'm going to choose multiply so that it kind of blends in with the t-shirt. I'm going to drop in the opacity just a little bit. And there you go. There's our mock-up. Okay. Let's say you still want to use this mock-up, but you want to change the design. Well, the smart object makes it so we can do that very easily. First thing we're going to do is double click into the smart object. And then before we delete this, let's copy in the new design we want, paste it in as a smart object, and then hit enter. We're going to position this behind the existing one, go back into transform and resize it. So it's roughly the same size, hit enter. Now we can delete the old one, hit save and go back to our existing mock-up. And there you go. As easy as that. Our new design is in, it's mocked up, and it blends in well with our mock-up. All right, next up, we're gonna look at how to use the fill tool to create poster mock-ups for us to use and reuse in the future. Again, we're gonna start off with the background. This time, we're gonna include the poster frame in our first Prompt. So using the marquee tool, select your entire canvas, go into generative fill, and let's type in modern room corner, empty walls, plain poster frame leaning on wall. 
okay i like this one but i only want one of these frames and i'm gonna go with this one so we can use the generative fill tool to remove this frame here by highlighting it and leaving the prompt empty and hitting generate okay once that's removed we can create a new layer and convert it into a smart object and then we can paste in our poster design on top once it's pasted in let's just resize it to roughly where we want it to be maybe a little bigger hit enter now we can copy this smart object and double click into the other one we just made and paste it in once it's in here let's go ahead and crop this object to just be the poster hit enter still have a little bit on the bottom then save and go back in here again we can delete this top image and we can move our smart object to where we want it to be I'm going to use the transform tool to put this in place. I'm going to hold control and drag the corners to match where my frame corners are and hit enter. Once that's done, we can again select multiply for this. And we can also add in an inner shadow to make it blend better with the frame. So layer style, inner shadow, Let's bring it in from the right. Get a little bigger. And that's it. There's your poster mock-up. Again, let's say you want to change this poster, but you still want to use the mock-up. We can simply double click into the smart object thumbnail and we can paste in the other poster we want. Make sure it's the right size. We'll delete the previous one, hit save, go back into our poster and there it is. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments how you've been using the generative fill tool in your design projects. And remember to like and subscribe for tutorials similar to this one. It's been Jam Design, and I'll see you in the next one.